Hello and welcome back to FEM Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn what we have in a FEM Design 3D structure tab. As you can see, FEM Design 3D structure structural analysis have four different tabs in it. FEM Design software also has six design modules module tabs here. But in this video, we will look more deeply in the structure and what functions we have here. Please first check, check if your user interface, interface is full or compact. If it's compact, you may notice that some of the, these buttons are hidden. You can either select full or check do you have any hidden buttons here. All of these functions will be covered in a better way in their own separate videos. In this video, I'm just gonna go through all of these functions one by one and sh show you what we have in this structure tab. First, if we start from right, we have construction stages for construction stage analysis. Then we have covers, we have building cover where you can make uh, one simple building cover at once and we also have cover tool here where you can make separate covers for walls and for roofs. Then we have modeling tools. We have modeling tools like diaphragm, fixture shell, fixtures bar and surface connection and line connection and point connection. These tools are meant for more advanced user, but simply, for example, surface connections and line connections and point connections are meant to use when you have objects that you want to connect without them touching in your FEM model. Next, what we have here is a support group. Here we have surface support, line support, line support, point support group and point support. Next, we have shell, shell elements here. We have first, we have shell component, like wall, corbel, potential cable for shells. And then we have three different kind of shells for walls and for plates. Let's start with timber wall, where you can uh, add timber walls to your model. Then we have profile walls and plane walls. We have the same options for plates. We have timber plate, profile plate and plane plate. For bar elements, we have interminate section, haunch, apex, column corbel and post tension cable for bars. And we have truss members, column and beam. For foundation, we have foundation slab, wall foundation, isolated foundation, and pile, filling, borehole, and soil elements. For structural grid, we have reference plane, we also have axis, we have copy story, if you want to simply copy uh, all the elements from one story to another, you can do it in here. And then we have story tool where you can either choose to make stories automatically to your model or put them in by hand. So this was all that we have in structure tab. And remember, we will look deeper into these in the future videos. But for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.